welcome back to the next episode of Cocktails with Keisha. I'm your girl, Tanya. And as your bartender for today, I'll be making a strawberry mocktail. And with this one, it'll be a frozen strawberry daiquiri play with Fanta strawberry soda and as well as some frozen strawberries for our special guest who will be the multi-talented Shayla Soul. And we're gonna start with scooping in our ice. And that's gonna wind up being a cup and a half. And then we'll scoop in our frozen strawberries. All right, and voila. Frozen strawberry play on a daiquiri. Hey y'all, welcome to Cocktails with Keisha. I'm here with none other than Chalazo. It's me. I'm so glad I'm me. Yeah. You gotta sing it now, girl. I ain't gonna sing it. This your song now. Thank <laughs> <laughs> y'all, it's me. Yes, I'm so glad to have you here. Your it's energy. You. I'm happy. I'm amazing, all cheesing. As always. I just cheesing. love you so much. I love you more. And it's just like, I try to tell all my guests who come on here when we first start. I give them a little story about how like how I met them, how I came across them. And oh, I'm just listening. like, I don't, well, I don't even remember. Maybe I, it was Jay Witt show too. I feel like I keep circling back to Jay Witt show. I don't remember exactly where I saw you hosting at, but when I saw you host, I fell in love with you. And I was just like, this girl, I need her. Aww. You know? And I'm, I'm the type of person that try to be like superwoman and try to do like everything, mm -hmm. you know? Because, you know, I'm that person like, you want shit done mm -hmm. right, you gotta yeah, do, do it yourself. yourself. But you also be so burnt out. So when I find people, I feel like, I work with and it's just easy just like my girl Tanya on these drinks but you know I find people that I work with and it's easy and for you you just know how to read the room and I was just like you know some hosts they either do too much or like super super underwhelming but for you I was just like and you could tell it was just you like yeah. you won't trying to put on nah. and it's just like even if the crowd Ain't paying attention, like you gonna be like, uh uh, oh, niggas, yeah. you know, you yeah. have hosted. Oh, we just said we won't go. You know, we had this discussion. <laughs> it's okay, cause my we bad. Gonna say it. I'm with my bad. Yes, people. I'm gonna say it. People. Not a niggas. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, no, see, thank you for coming, though. No, thank you for having me. Um, All serious moment. You know, I like to joke a lot. Mm -hmm. It's definitely dope what you're doing. Thank like, you. I met you, and it was just like a a spark, cause like, it's, it's definitely inspiring. Mm -hmm. The clothes. Mm hmm. Y'all, the dress. Let me. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> it is from no one other than Miss Keisha. Yes. Um, she does clothes, hair, a mm. mom, a good person, a curator. So like, girl, like this, 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 this. I'm on your show, baby. Yes. I'm, I'm on your show. But still, no. You... So it's dope. I just, I just, like I said, I joke a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that's just my nature. But like, it's dope. Yes. And I'm, you. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm honored. All yeah. the time, I know it's a, a little okay. fried. I don't, mm -hmm. don't want to start crying. Mm -hmm. That's that's another reason I was like, we doing these mocktails today too. Yes, I'm fasting, y'all. Praise be to Jesus, <laughs> Hallelujah. But I am going to roll the wood. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. I that's why I'm sitting up here wood. like, mm -hmm. it's no way I could be drinking because you know Tanya put her foot in these drinks mm -hmm. all every time, and not for me, I I am a smoker. For yeah. those who don't know. I, 420 is right around the corner and I can't right before wait. this segment yes right before this mm -hmm. segment and she she makes these drinks and I start sipping the you know when we shot with Bree she made the drink and girl <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it's a mocktail right. cause I'm yeah drinking it like it's, it's yes. that all in there cause if we, we be tripping mm -hmm. but so when I bring people on the show I, like I said I'm a fan first because I ask you questions that I personally want to know about you outside of everything that you do that yeah. you're amazing at. Not only do you host, you also sing. Oh, shit. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> no, just, just, no. Just, just a little. You no. know you know me. I don't, you know, you know. You, be, you, uh, you curate events as well. Yes, yes. Dope. Yes. Dope, dope events. The Divine, Divine Feminine show that I went to was absolutely great. Thank you, thank you so much. I, love, I really loved it. I enjoyed all the performances, and, and I feel like you just know what you're doing, and I just feel like when I attract with some people who have similar mindsets, and I can tell you also have an ear for music, and, mm -hmm. I, and you have, like, a real ear for music, not just some bullshit because they got a following or, you know, I really enjoyed your show. 
by Thank the way. You. Every time you host anywhere. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gushing inside. <laughs> it makes me feel real good because I don't really... I don't really, I don't really do it like for me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I like to have shows to have fun. Like at mm-hmm. first it was just like I'm gonna just throw a show. Like I, it really wasn't like who inspired me to host. I've always been in the music, like but like just to curate something. I'm just like let me let me see if I can do something. And I held a show down, you know, by myself for two hours, three people. Then more mm-hmm. people came, so it was like oh well, I'm gonna just continue to do this. Mm-hmm. Like if we gonna have fun, baby, let's throw mm-hmm. it. And we decided to have an open mic. And I'm like yeah. open all that soul. So like. Live band. Live band Lit. and DJ mm-hmm. and then performers come, like just come get on stage, like regardless. Like there's some artists out here that need help mm-hmm. with their artistry. There's some artists that are very experienced. There's some people that are in the middle, regardless though. Mm-hmm. We're gonna clap. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't give a damn if you juggle. I don't mm-hmm. give you got dancers in there. So that's like I just I just like being around the arts enough to just go, mm-hmm. you know? And I'd rather just sit there and watch rather sometimes host, but Yes, go please. People do your work and, and, and art and get on stage and do what you gotta do to be happy. Mm-hmm. That's really it. That's mm-hmm. really it. No. I really I I really enjoy your show and I'm looking forward to whatever we have up next. Actually you do have an event. I saw it because I'm trying to get there. It's on a Wednesday night. Sneaker ball. Yes, oh no, that's all we're doing a sneaker ball. Mm-hmm. And of course be I'm you know me, I'm gonna be extra. I'm getting a whole like prom dress. It's gonna be really frilly, but I'm gonna mm-hmm. wear my ones. I may slide my wig on, <laughs> <laughs> depending on how I feel. Mm-hmm. Or I might just let the natural go. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're going to rock like live band. Just come in your sneakers, turn up. We're going to have a, I'm going I'm to I'm make sure like y'all are like stacked and having fun. And like, I like giving away people. I like giving away things to people. Like, mm-hmm. it's just going to be fun. So April 19th, it's at Jackie's 1241 North Laburnum Avenue. So let's get into this interview a little bit. I'm her. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. So I always start with childhood questions. Okay. Um, childhood is a start, mm-hmm. of course. So what was life like as mm-hmm. little on Shay? Child, I was like a bad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> not, not like bad, like out in the streets, just like really into shit. Just really like mouthy or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I was very... I feel like the same way now. Mm-hmm. I'm very protective of my friends, and like music was a thing that I couldn't like drop. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So like my dad was a really big part of like the secular music, '60s and '70s music, like mm-hmm. the stylistics, the spinners, and all mm-hmm. that. And my mom was the choir director, so I'm singing the solos at church every Sunday, and I'm crying my eyes out every Sunday singing a solo, and people thinking you're getting happy. Baby, no. I was nervous. <laughs> mm-hmm. God loves me, but baby, he didn't touch me there. I was just, it's, I was nervous. It wasn't, it wasn't that, so it was just a mix between the two. Mm-hmm. So, like, and it wasn't, it wasn't strict, because I had my siblings. I'm the middle child, so we would make up dances and songs, mm-hmm. and it was a whole bunch of, it was a whole musical, musical family, so it was really, 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 really fun, and that's why Childhood is I can only think of music really. Are you from? Richmond? Oh yes, born and raised, honey. Yes, born and raised. Okay. And then moved to Chesterfield. You know what they say, Richmond. I was I was born in Richmond, but I moved to Chesterfield. <laughs> I want to know. I I don't know. I thought you were from maybe you moved to Seven Five Seven. Yes, and you know I went to ODU. But I thought that's why I was like, why I don't yeah, know why I thought I went to you ODU. were from Go Seven Five Seven. Yeah, you went to ODU too. Mm-hmm. You know, Bree went to ODU. Did she? Risha Bell? Mm-hmm. You lie. Mm-mm. She went to ODU. I'll text her right now. She ain't going to ODU. She did. She really did. Her mom went, her we parents went to the show. and she went to ODU. And Scoozy went to school in uh, 757. He went to Hampton. He, I, did he go to? I, he, yeah, I know he was in 757. I forgot what school he went to. But I know, you know, Scoozy my daughter too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm about to text because I don't know. I'm an ODU. So you said your childhood was mostly music. Mm-hmm. So I'm, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's, it wasn't a problem ever. Really? No. That's that's good. No. I, I love no. Like I love singing in the choir and then you know, my dad's a mechanic, so we all started listening to music. He would put me on to like the older music. So like mm-hmm. I really, really, really appreciate like sixties and seventies music. I really, really do. I feel like I was born in the wrong time mm-hmm. period. Whatever. I said the same thing. Seventies. I don't give a fuck. Whatever drug I was on, it was great. <laughs> Cause y'all look like you had a damn good, good time. Good time. Yes. <laughs> a Lord. Damn good time. And that's 
me. Mm-hmm. So, and the music that we have now is sometimes it's a mixture, sometimes it's trash, sometimes mm-hmm. it's like we're creating our own thing, but everything is like being reused, recycled, so like samples so, and stuff like that. So it's time. like, honey, mm-hmm. like how could you not appreciate where it came from? Mm-hmm. So music was always dope and like writing for me. Like I think it was writing and then music. Like I would try to Even listen as to a the, child. yeah, listen to mm-hmm. the music and try to like I don't know. It's just like, damn, I wish I could write something like that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's like, I'm going to try to write something like that. So I've had girl, like little girl groups. It's it like everything that I did in childhood really was music. Cheerleading, all of it. That sounds, it's crazy because I grew up in the country. So we had to make our own fun. So we would do the same thing. Like we would literally put on talent shows mm-hmm. for our family. That's so dope to Don't hear. Say, you all of her. That's so dope to hear. Tanya, this, yes, honey. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So, would, so I'm guessing there's nothing you would change about your childhood. I never asked this question. Is there, and I wanted to ask this question to you. Mm, there's a lot that I love to change about my childhood outside of, like, the things that I enjoy. But, like, probably uh, being close with my mom. Me and her mm-hmm. are not. Like, we're close. Like, we're good. But it's like I just wanted that, like, I got you, girl, versus more discipline. Plenary, like a, mm-hmm. like a, it, you know, we're mothers and daughters with heads, but like it's a different, different type time of, too. Ooh, mm-hmm. child. So mm-hmm. like, but love you, mom Dukes, but like I just, I really wish that was a thing because I feel like I might, I might have gotten a little bit further in my music if I kind of like just lean on my mom just for a little, a little bit mm-hmm. for something because I was a daddy's girl, mm-hmm. so I just feel like I was missing something, you know, missing something to like get me really going because music was it but I needed mm-hmm. both of my parents like from the Lord and from secular like to come together mm-hmm. and birth this amazing person mm-hmm. and make me you know like hold it together so that's really it really I had a great relationship with my siblings my brother my sister my friends like we were I I, I love niggas <laughs> <laughs> we gonna keep count two brothers and sisters no no, nigga. Oh, nigga. Oh, oh that's word. three. Three, oh. four. <laughs> Baby, we gonna need a shot or something. We gonna need a shot. We gonna need a shot. Actually, we can't. You say you're right. We're fast. Fast. No, you're fast. I'm just. I have a mock. See, I'm supporting you. I'm. Su- I'm gonna pretend you fast. So. Does it make me feel better? Ooh, child. Okay, we won't say the word. We Probably will. Word. We will. Mm-hmm. For me, and I asked that question because you know we don't really talk about. We, we love to, to talk about the good things. I feel mm-hmm. like in all my interviews, we've always talked more about the positive things about our childhood, childhood. But, like, for me, I even go to think about, like, the different attachment styles I might have learned. Oh, yes. I'll be reading on Twitter about that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What attachment style are you? Because I have one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get to all mm-hmm. I don't even get to all that. But I would just say the attachment styles that I've learned, I feel like... Um, mm-hmm might have changed the way I think love, you know, mm. like the different the different ways how love is supposed to go and that might have screwed me up a little bit. So that part yeah. I probably would have changed. But outside of that, everything you said too about like, you know, having the, the talent shows and just so you knew you were gonna do music. Yeah, like pretty much it was it's, just a thing. Mm-hmm. And it, it I don't know, it's just a thing. Like, it was just, like, everybody singing, everybody dancing, mm-hmm. and everybody writing. If either that or sports. And mm-hmm. I played basketball. I was not that good. I ran track. At least you recognize that. Oh, for sure. They mm-hmm. knew. <laughs> my class. We all knew. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I did my thing, but not, mm-hmm. not my thing. But mm-hmm. track and writing and, like, just... I was really good at my schoolwork, though. Like, I didn't really play about school. Like, I cut up and everything. But teacher's mm-hmm. pet, but teacher's favorite. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to get the work done, but... It reflects though. I feel like that reflects in your work ethic, ethic today. Thank you. I don't. I just don't want to fail like that. Yes. I can't see myself like failing when it comes to that. The schoolwork, other stuff, yeah, but it like teaches me like all right, that like I can't accept this behavior. What the mm-hmm. fuck is this? And and I just be like, okay, I'll do better the next time or figure out what I need to do. Something, mm-hmm. but failing is just I I not it's, not I cannot live with it. Like yeah. it really literally. What they say it makes my ass itch. Yes. That's what they say. <laughs> it mean. literally makes my it. Mm-hmm. I can't. It just I can't. Yeah. Mm, next question. Ooh, I'm just itching so, right now. I just so cannot. that you kind of answered. I, well, maybe you didn't. Maybe I'm. I don't want to assume. No. Because you, you, your parents were clearly a heavy influence 
on your your music and your artistry? My whole family. Your whole family. Mm-hmm. Was there any artist that inspired you specifically? I do many things to do what? Like mm-hmm. sing and sing. Sing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talking specifically about you singing. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't... And I've been asked this question so many times. Mm-hmm. And, like, I feel like my answer changes every time because I'm thinking of, like, present. In the past, like before I really knew what music was, I was listening to what my dad would listen mm-hmm. to. So I'm assuming that's, you know, what that is. And mm-hmm. so, like, if we really had to say that, I would really pick a 60s or 70s artist to get me singing. So, like, I really... And it's groups. Like, he listened to groups. So, like, I don't... Can we come back? Can I think about can, it? You can think okay, about it. Let me think about it. Because it, I, I think when I'm coming into myself and knowing who I mm-hmm. am, that question is kind of odd because, like, all I really knew was that. And then mm-hmm. I learned to listen to other stuff. So it's like, by the time I learned to listen to other stuff, that really didn't inspire me because I was already doing it. Yeah. So it was 60s and 70s. But girl, come back. It'll come. It'll come. I'm going I'm to I'm think of a good group that inspired me to be who I am or a 60s, 70s. You know what? No, I lied. Mm-hmm. I am, I don't know if you ever heard of the stylistics. Mm-hmm. Yes. That, like, the high notes in the group, like, all the group mm-hmm. members and the different, like, tones that they have. Like, my dad would try to hit the high note. I'm hitting the low note. Mm-hmm. I think they inspire me because they have this really, really good song. I think it's Betch by Golly Wild. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite songs. Mm-hmm. And, um, and yeah, I think, I think, mm-hmm. yes. And my mm-hmm. dad would sing the verse, I would sing the verse. So that kind of like, that, I think that song and the, that group inspired me to write and then sing. Mm-hmm. So yes, I will stand firm in that answer. Okay, mm-hmm. I like that answer. I'll stand firm. Thank you. But I like it. Yeah, it's, that's, that's really all that I do. So, so you mentioned um, the stylistics. So I grew up to have witness. So my grandma did not mm-hmm. allow rap in our house. So we got to watch like 106 in Park and like things like that. But if a rap song came on, she made us turn it off. Like she was not. So I grew up on the same. I'm grateful for that too because I feel like that's why I'm so critical about other people's music. Cause I'm like, nah, bro. Yeah. Like I was feeling that as a child. And I, I didn't know what the hell they yeah. were talking about, but I was feeling something like. Lenny Williams talking about some mm. girl, you know, I, I love you. I was like, damn, you love soul, that woman. Like, and I was just like, you ain't even old enough to know what the hell. Nobody else started singing like that. Yeah, thing. no. They're not yeah. doing that. It, it don't hit the same. But then, luckily, we were blessed with the 90s. I feel like, you know, that was the redemption year in the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it get a little shaky. But, you know, yeah. so I appreciate the stylistics and, and every. All Teddy Pen. Oh, oh love yeah. All I love them. It. I and love I just it. be Music would have been music. Without the blueprint, I be jamming. I be jamming too. I be I Motown, po- Motown's Pandora girl. I'm gonna put you on. I be jamming. Mm-hmm. Heatwave. <gasps> oh, honey, yes. <laughs> One of my favorite. Always. Oh, mm-hmm. 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 Shit. Mm-hmm. That was my aunt's wedding song. That Damn, that's what's was- yes. That's Sean. Song. Turn that on real quick. <laughs> that's the that's the that's 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 they a don't jam. know nothing about it. They really don't. So, shit. Do you have a favorite artist? God damn it. I know. I know these are hard. It's tough, right? You gotta be specific. You, know, you gotta be specific. Favorite male? Favorite female? So your favorite artist, the top person you think of, like, oh my God, this person. Oh my gosh. For me, I'll tell you, it's Lauren Hill. Okay. Mm-hmm. And even though I'm inspired, so inspired by everything we just named. But for me, no, it's Lauren Hill. No, I, 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 I get you. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, mm-hmm. my gosh. It's so hard. Oh, my gosh. It's, this question is. Mm-hmm. You love music, so you're going to think hard. Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness. Erica, I do. Okay. I'm not mad at that answer. I can Ooh, see it, though. I, I get I'm it. Just, I'm just trying to, like, think. Because I can just see you saying, I'm an artist, and I'm sensitive about my Bear shit. Bare my soul. I will, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I will cry and bop, bop. You yeah. just bop my shit. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. You feel me? But her. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that's, I'm a stand firm. I'm a stand firm. That's, all right. Two stand firms now. Okay. So, influenced by stylistics, but your favorite artist, Erica Badu. Ooh. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yes, we we ain't gonna change it. 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 Hurry up, ask me something else. <laughs> we ain't gonna change it. Okay. 
So, when did you start hosting? When did you officially start hosting? Because I can tell you've been doing it for a very long time because it comes so naturally. But I also think that's because you're like, I can tell, like I said, your energy. You're like a natural, you know, people just drawn to you. Oh, you're drawn to me? Yes. Oh, you look. Um, hosting. Ah, probably college. Mm-hmm. Not the house parties, you know, because I used to throw house parties all the time. Mm-hmm. And the people come over to my dorm room. I had to sweep. Um, my people would come over, had friends over, we would get messed up, I would host a party, MC or whatever. We had no DJ or nothing like that. We was like ox cord and mm-hmm. my on the mic just let people do whatever they want to do in my dorm room. And then it went into like having theater and things like that. So that came into hosting or putting on theater shows. Mm-hmm. And then I used to do shows at called the Zen, I think. It was Linen Zen down in Norfolk. I don't know, but I forgot. It, it was at one of those places. So, mm. college. Very first start in hosting something. And then, so is that kind of where you got the idea for, all, like, opening all that soul? Mm. No. One of me and my friends was in the club, and <laughs> they was like, oh, yeah, girl, somebody want to, they need you to host a show or whatever. I'm like, what? I like, give me the number. So, I called her, and mm. it was Madison. Shout out to you, girl, owner of Open All That Soul saying that she needed to open mic on Tuesdays and I was like bet I'll come in so that's when I -hmm. really took it seriously and I hosted it like I said when I stated like I hosted a two hour show three people three people came two Mm -hmm. hours and then after that I kept going and going and going with the help of Charles shout out to Black Book Food and it kind of gradually grew from there and then that's when people like were booking me because I had something of my own Mm -hmm. so shout out to y'all that's, yes. No, shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to you. Quality is really hard to fucking come by these oh. days. Me? Shit. No, seriously. Like, it, it it really is. And that's why I'm like, for the people that I work with, just, just everybody across the board, I'm so like, my team got to be A1, you yeah. know, because it'll always be quality over mm-hmm. quantity for me. Yeah. And I just feel like, I keep saying it. It's just it's just a bunch of bullshit yeah. these days. And I, I'm tired of seeing bullshit. And I want it to come back. Like, I know th- th- they're doing the thing with the whole Instagram. Like, th- they cut, they stop cutting checks or whatever. People are um, really going to have to get back to work. I'm kind of excited, too. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah. Like, what's up? Like, and, 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 and what people are really about. Because yeah. it's really about networking and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Outside. Exactly, the groundwork. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's like you work hard. But for me, like, I don't... I'm just being me. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, what's up? Like, I really like to do things. Mm-hmm. And I like to have fun. And I think this is fun. And I want you to do it with me. Or let's do it together. Mm-hmm. And that's how I've built any business relationship that I've had. I've always tried to make it somewhat personal. Even though I shouldn't have, I feel mm-hmm. like. Because... I feel like if I'm going to do business with you and do something that I love to do, I have to love you too. Right. I, I feel like if you're going to be in this with me or right. doing business with me, you have to love it just like how much mm-hmm. I love it. And that means I have to love you. Mm-hmm. So I have to really bond with you or be trustful of you. And mm-hmm. not a lot of times I can do that. So that means I don't want to do business with you. Because right. if it's something that I don't, I don't enjoy, I am not going to do it. Right. Mm-hmm. So what internal um, like struggles have you faced? Because like, you've been doing this for how long now? Would you I say? say hosting? Well, I'll hosting, start hosting the from music, Oklahoma. Um, everything. I would say really the really really start of it was probably sophomore year in college. Mm-hmm. So musically, yes, there when I took it seriously, hosting probably around that time too. But like internal challenges as far as like what, like what do you mean? just just anything? Being um, that you you do have a platform, mm-hmm. um, you do inspire people. People do look up to you. People obviously support you. You set the bar pretty high for yourself. Mm, thank you. <laughs> and then for me, it's just like I'm not doing enough. So like, there's that. Or, but that's because that's who you are. The person, yeah. That's why you're gonna always get better because you don't get comfortable. Yeah, it's it's really mm-hmm. an uncomfortable thing. I'm comfortable being me, but I'm comfortable knowing that like there's something like beyond me. Like there's mm-hmm. more that I can do. So like. I think that's probably one of the biggest things is always feeling like I'm not doing enough or, Mm -hmm. of course, comparing. You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, if I'm this person and this is, like, me, like, I really wouldn't know how to help. Like, I can't host no other fucking way. Like, I would grab Mm -hmm. a mic and whatever comes, it comes. And I know how to formulate a show, yes. Mm -hmm. But, like, I feel most comfortable when I am in front of an audience Mm -hmm. because, like, 
it's just there. You know what I mean? Like I used to like hide behind a lot of things, a lot of, of, of like insecurities and used to like lie to myself, lie to the people. Like I used to be like this cause I really mm-hmm. didn't want nobody to know me, but like I'm in front of people now. You're going to see if I have a booger. You're going to see if I have whatever. <laughs> You're going to see if my edges ain't on. You're mm-hmm. going to see whatever. Like my lash maybe it's, it's, I just feel that's just how I feel. So I'm going to be myself regardless. And mm-hmm. I think that's what told me, that's what taught me how to be, be myself. It's just like, I can't, I ain't no one else I can be. Yeah. So <laughs> like, it's just that. When hearing, um, so glad I'm me. Mm-hmm. You put your, yeah. You did what you needed to do in that song. Like that song is very inspiring. I actually, I listen to it very often. I listen to it very often because you, you really are who you say you are in that song. Like you, you telling your truth. And I feel like people who know you, they know. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody loves you so much. I know Mm -hmm. I do. I love you. I You've been really rocking do. with me for a couple of years now. Yeah, you my girl, yo. Yeah. Because I, I see what you were doing, and it's like, oh, shit, she has the same love for the same stuff mm-hmm. that I have, and she has the same passion, so I got to love her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got to, like, not be around you to suck from you, but to share. Yeah. So, like. We want to see each other win. Yeah, like, girl, I want to see you goddamn. Mm-hmm. Grammys or something, yeah. but shit. We all want to like sit there. You we know? Sit there so, right it's together. like, I love it. I, I got, I just, that's what I yearn for. Mm-hmm. So. Like, and that, it's like, internal struggles for me, I feel, I feel the same way. And it's just like, it's, it's really easy to get burnt out. And I'm just like, if I'm burnt out, I'm, I'm no good for anybody, especially myself. Burnt, baby. Yeah, burnt well out. Well done. And burnt, yeah, burnt <laughs> out. And, and we have to start validating where we are. Um, those internal struggles, they hold us back a lot. Like for me, even for this, like this was so hard for me. That's why I'm like, oh, girl, I take my hat off to you with the host then because I can't do that. Like, I might be who I am, and people be like, oh, you know, Keisha, this and that. But I, so, I do not like, no, like, my anxiety. I can't do it. I had a horrible stage fright. Like, oh, this was so hard for me just being on camera. And when I see people and they get up there and they, and they know how to control a room, and I'm just like, you. And they don't make them like you. You know, I grew up watching Showtime at the Apollo yes, and, and things time. like that. Yes. Or, or even just like, um, What's the comedy show uh, that used to come on BT? Just the host in general who used to... 106 in Park. I know mm-hmm. I brought that up already. Um, Rap City. The, all, they drew us in. The host drew us in. Because the damn videos on 106 in Park, they played for like, what, 20 seconds and cut them bitches so off. off. And it was yes. Like a nice and the good part. Waiting on the good oh, part, the part to come on. Part, and they cut it right off. Yo, free. Like, mm-hmm. oh, wow. But yeah. The, big, the biggest... I wouldn't call it that, but it is the biggest lie, or or feel a host or anybody that I feel that does what I do mm-hmm. is that they don't care what people think about them. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I actually do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I feel really like you do. should to a certain extent. But some people really yeah. have that nature where they're like, "Fuck it, fuck you. I'm mm-hmm. gonna fuck. I'm going to do this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. And me, I'm just like. I am who I am, and if I've offended you on this end, I'm sorry that I was your villain. Mm -hmm. If you love me on this end, I appreciate you. That's Mm -hmm. what I like. I'm it's 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 the villain to some, God sent to others. I always say that, Mm -hmm. and it's like that's who I am. I'm a villain to some, Mm -hmm. and I'm a God sent to others. There are some people that I have fucked over. Like Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be completely honest Mm -hmm. and. It is what it is. And there's some people that I would never do wrong or haven't mm-hmm. done wrong or they think I'm the best mm-hmm. since sliced bread, girl. Mm-hmm. And I, I may be, but like, I'm going to take ownership for that for whatever. Yeah. So like, I, I do care what people think about me because I like making people feel good all yeah. the time. Yeah. And if I didn't in the past, learning experience. But now yeah. that I'm doing it, I like to do it all the time. Yeah. So. And you do make people feel good. You like you. You're always a big part of any event that I do when people people talk about you. And be a time. time they love. Yes, we, Ooh, have, we a have a time. We always have a time. We had a ten last night. <laughs> we got to do that on TikTok. We're gonna, we gonna have we're gonna have more times. I can't wait to actually start mm-hmm. doing more events. Mm-hmm. So with everything that you do, do I know you work. I know you have shows that you put together. You you're doing your music. How how do you stay on top of your mental health? Cause for me, girl. <laughs> I smoke weed. Yes. <laughs> I smoke weed yes. and talk to the Lord mm-hmm. and talk to the Lord and smoke weed. But no, um, 
like I said, I've come, in, I've come from a praying family, mm-hmm. very um, church oriented. So like I just, it's instilled in me. I love the Lord. I love the Lord to me. Love Lord to me. Love the Lord loves me. Mm-hmm. And, we know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> and I think that mental health thing is sometimes it's a little shaky. Sometimes I feel like a bra. I don't even know how mm-hmm. I'm doing this. I feel like I'm not doing enough. And then there's mm-hmm. times where I was like, you know what, God, you got me. Mm-hmm. So really god Mm -hmm. for sure Mm -hmm. because there's like girl the 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 shit that i have been through i'm pretty sure people have gone through worse but Mm -hmm. like god damn like i'm tired like that's that's how i felt like i'm tired Mm -hmm. but like i i can't stop like there's something Mm -hmm. like it's just like i literally cannot unmove my body yeah i have to do it Mm -hmm. it's just like a thing so god for sure push through yeah Mm -hmm. i got to you have to I can't see another. Yeah, it's hard. And I just feel like for certain people, like like I told Scoozy or like Bree and and you, because you make music and you host too, like born to do it. (laughs) So you can't stop, you know? And you're not going to be allowed to stop because somebody, your phone will always ring. (sighs) Because when you do good business and and people don't realize that though, like you can't be a messed up person, do bad business and think that, it's going to work out for you because yeah. it's not going to work out for you. At all. When you come across people like like me, you know me, I deal with this many people. Mm-hmm. Really, like my circle is like, yeah. you know, and, and I'm like that for a reason. Mm-hmm. And But when I come across like genuine souls and I'm just like people who not just trying to put on because they around this group of people or mm-hmm. I'm going to be this way so so mm-hmm. people will like me to pay. No, be be a good fucking person because you're a good fucking person. That's and, that's, and that's how I feel about you. So when it's just like, hearing the music that you make and then it's like Mm -hmm. watching you host and just like your mashups just your energy in general like i appreciate real ass bitches i know we weren't supposed to say the b word either but i really do yes i know and i and i said that because i know i post a clip about loving black women and and i had to tell myself i'm like damn i really do love black women we're beautiful but i don't like a lot of y'all bitches I don't I'm like that bitch, bitch, you feel me? Yeah, Sometimes and me too, to and I'm okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay with it. And that's okay, it. I'm okay with it, because you're going you gonna to like it. Beyonce said it? Yeah, exactly. Shit. When you that girl. Yeah. I'm honey. I am. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, you keep the hair and the nails, what, the hair is not long at the very moment. You, you know, can pretend, because no, the, I just, there's yeah. hang time. You do have hang time, but you know we used yeah, to the, the to the we can let the locks we can let the locks uh, yeah floors and formulate we gonna let them you know we used to the to the butt leaf hair and the nails long though oh, oh like yes. the song absolutely got nineties so, auntie mm-hmm. hands you gotta get a close up on that song nineties <laughs> auntie hands you know what I'm saying I live for it um yes hair was very much so long braids or wig yes, I mean, it was I, had to swing some way yes. What do you do for self care? Um, pray. we have to take care. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. um self care. What you do for self care? Okay. I of course pray. Um, I make sure I drink water. Of course, I I get waxes. <laughs> got to do it. Ooh, you strong woman. Yes, I got to do scared. it. I'm scared. I don't do anything with my face. Like mm-hmm. the makeup thing. Shout out to my makeup. I don't do makeup at all. I just mm-hmm. put the lashes on and lip gloss and go. But, like, just self-care, pray, drink water, get my wax, get my nails done, my feet done, and mm-hmm. just, of course, shower, do the normal yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. And that's really it. I, I don't, I'm not really, like, the prissiest, but I take care of myself. I, I, I get suited up for the night, so you tell me. As you should, as you should. We have to take care of ourselves. Yeah. Because if we don't take care of ourselves, we do do a lot. Mm-hmm. And I feel like people like us, we have a certain calling to do. And when we aren't our best selves it affects that mm-hmm. in all aspects of our lives self-care for me um i'm in therapy um i actually get two hour massages every two weeks um you know i do hair so mm-hmm. oftentimes my hair looks a fucking mess under those wigs but i'm trying to get back to a place where i'm like taking care of me mm-hmm. just as much as i'm taking care of everybody else like it. yes like yeah because we own it we own in 2023 like it's about the sun about to come out it's about to be warm we're not gonna yes. be you know down and out in these streets we, we about to turn the fuck up i oh. hit a i hit a money caller yes that's what i said i was like i hear yeah. something mm-hmm. like something is there but speaking of self-care like 
when you're thinking of that, I love going to the beach. Mm-hmm. Me too. That's probably like the best self care. I went Thursday and I just felt like the tide snatched everything away that I was dealing with. And Girl, just, I just feel so playing. cleansed. And then I came back to work. <laughs> the motherfucker, this shit didn't take everything. But that's one of the, the like just taking care of my body itself, of course, mm-hmm. getting my nails done, but going to the beach. Yes. I actually love the beach too. I love doing yoga on the beach. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a love hate relationship with the beach though. Like, I love having my hotel room be on the beach and I open the, you know, side mm-hmm. door or whatever and I hear the waves. I'll sleep with the door open. But you know. So we went to the beach, girl. We had a time. We was in there getting buried in the sand and all that shit. But that's you know, problem. when you get out there, even when you get in that little fucking shower that you supposed to rinse off, it don't really be you can't really do too much because people be out there. You like you really need a shower shower. That sand was in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I had to <laughs> Like, I had to fucking, Ooh, you just, like, sleep on my stomach in the car until we got back to the... I have not fucked with sand Why do you have that much sand? It was... Sand. We was buried in the sand. That's your problem. When yeah, you we was beach, young. You're not supposed to be doing all that. Yeah, that's why I would be... Dig doing. holes, but don't get in there. No, we was, we buried... We did the same girls. Like, we used to have a time. We were younger. But that's when people be like, they have sex on the beach and all that. I'm like... Yes, I have had sex on the beach and it's great. You put a towel down. Ain't no sand in my ass. Yeah. Sand is everywhere. It's Man. in your shoes. It's in your. It's in your car when you it's leave a, the it's beach. It's a pretty big blanket. It is. I love. I love it though. Beach. No, yeah. I, I might get sand in my hair, but not my ass. And that's messy too. Yeah, like, that'll, that'll piss me off. Then you get in a and you get in a shower after and it's mud. Yeah, that's and that's how you get ringworms, people. See, so I have a love hate relationship with the beach, but I do love the beach too. It's it is a very like. You know, oh, when there's not a lot of people, I like mm-hmm. to like do yoga on the beach. And quiet. And, you know, yes, when it's quiet. She don't want Even though, while. you know, Virginia Beach is a little dirty. But I, it's I the go closest. to the Norfolk secluded beaches where. Like, oh, you're going to have to send me. You yeah. Have to. There, it's, it's, it's literally, you put it in Norfolk beaches, it's like right on the exit, right off. You get off the bridge, it's right off there, exit. It's like a whole little shopping center right there. Mm-hmm. And then the beach is right there. And it's like people love their space, so they spread yes. out. Yes, yes. So it's I like when you walk too. down there. Yep. See, kids running all around. Tanya said she walked down. She know. <laughs> Tanya said she know. And I know she know. That's the time. I be out there drinking my wine. It be comfortable. I yes, that's what I need. I'm going to smoke a little bit. Well, you let's know. go. Yes, we, let's we do that. We're going to your that. ass. We're not going to do that. I'm going to make chair. sure I'm, I'm dressed We're going to bring you a chair. Because y'all going to see me doing all kinds yes. of shit like I'm going to bring you I'm a like, chair. What the fuck is wrong with her? I'm going to sit. It's I'm, the sand. I'm going to sit my ass right in that sand. So, I know you don't have kids yet. You're a very busy woman. Mm-hmm. Are you interested in having kids? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think a little Shay. Oh my goodness. Shay or like <laughs> Shane or whoever. I think it'll be a grand time. Mm-hmm. It'll be like a little me. Yes. And I would have a grand time. Like I love kids. I mm-hmm. love babies. And you gotta be ready to slow down though, girl. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like, but I. It's like a, it's sometimes it's like. I don't know why this kid is crying. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it's like, oh my God, I love you so much. Mm-hmm. So, but you can't give it back and you yeah. can't take it nowhere. I'm going to give it to something. I'm going to give my, It's got to go somewhere. <laughs> That's how I'm like, you got to go. You got to get up out of here. I can't do it. But I, for right now, yes, at this mm-hmm. very moment, what time is it? Maybe not in, in not two minutes, <laughs> but this very moment, I would love to have Do so you have a time frame? Um, We won't tell my age on camera, <laughs> but... <laughs> Hmm. Maybe three years. Okay. Three years, give or take. Three okay. Years. If not, then I'm gonna just continue nurturing my dog. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. Cause Cause they, they, they definitely one. like kids. Yeah, they mm-hmm. always gonna be kids. Yeah. Cause they can't go to the vet the damn stuff. The show can't. And can't pay no goddamn bills. Can't talk. Mm-mm. Can't open the door. Mm-mm. Can't do none of that shit. So no. Mm-hmm. You gotta feed I'm them. You gotta do. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get two dogs. Mm-hmm. Man, that's it. That's all. I I can see you. I can see you with a daughter. She gonna have. I'm looking for a son. Really? Mm-hmm. You scared to get a you? I'm. I have a. I have. No, oh. I'm not scared to get a me because I feel like I feel like I'm a good person. Yeah. And I would treat my child the same way. Mm-hmm. I would. But the mouth know. comes back in girls. I'm just gonna. Yeah, let they, you do, know it. they do. Mm-hmm. They do. They do. They mm-hmm. do. And I, I think I have enough patience. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see. I don't know. See, this two minutes. It's been two minutes, baby. I don't know no more. Yeah, see, I don't know, have. I no have more. a. I have a thirteen year old, mm-hmm. and then I have a little baby. A one year old. I started completely over. Little baby. And I'm telling you, 
girls, but I can see you have. I can definitely see you have a girl. You have a mouth on you too, and I do too, and I get it back for sure. So it's just like with my oldest, it's like I want to laugh because I'm just like, God damn, yeah. you know, you get that. So all this at the same time, like, the same time. you talking to, yeah. See, I don't exactly. Want that. See, yeah, now I don't want them no more. And it, and I think the start of it too is having like the per. You never gonna have the profit perfect partner i would say just the right support system to have kids that's very very important starting with the The partner yeah the baby daddy can't be yeah girl let me tell you that i will move to right (laughs) i will move to fucking arizona i literally and not in that situation for me i just probably wouldn't Mm -hmm. even do i'm like you know what i'm cool i'm with my ass somewhere Mm -hmm. and don't come you can't do that just don't come you can't do that yeah you stuck with them you stuck just, with them. Just don't, so that's you can FaceTime. Just don't. <laughs> just don't come. You can be a FaceTime. You can FaceTime. You can that's FaceTime. it. Just don't that's bring it. your just ass. Just don't bring around. your ass around. <laughs> just call me. You can't do <laughs> I'm gonna get her her own phone line. I'm gonna get her everything she needs for you to transfer whatever you need to her. But don't call me. No, no, you gonna have. Yeah. When it, when your time comes, you are gonna be blessed with a beautiful Ooh. family. I see it because you're a beautiful person. Thank it's gonna so. come back to you. Just wish dogs on me right now. Just. <laughs> <Where's Dolph? laughs> just wish just wish two beautiful little Yorkie poos on me right now. I will take that. That's okay, that's it's still a step though, right? Yes. It's, it's step yeah, ass. It's just, just <laughs> slide <laughs> into I don't I changed my mind. Our three years. Um, what 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 day is this? March? No, shit. March April, April, is April. already April. God yeah. damn, we is moving through twenty twenty three. Today was Sunday too. Yeah. <laughs> shit. All right. You gotta I, I, don't call me. Four, eight, three years. Oh, Sean, get back. up. <laughs> Cut this footage, Sean. We go. <laughs> no, I'm going to hold you to it. Slide it back like, on me. I'm like, who are you going to get to host your baby shower? Well, I'm very curious to know. I'm like, have a who? baby shower? Yeah, would you ever get anyone to host your show? Host your show? <laughs> <laughs> Like if Charles has fallen down the steps and broken both <laughs> legs, baby, I don't that I don't. That's when you can ask. Yeah, but baby, what? I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. I was I'm just asking. Like, have you ever needed a break? And you like, oh, break where? <laughs> <laughs> what? Charles, damn, you know, I love it. And he don't I know it, but it. he know it. That's asking me over the damn show. I love it. Ooh, oh, girl, y'all must come here. <laughs> Girl, y'all was That's I don't know. Woo! You can host it, no. I just shit. told you. Was, I don't I, like to. It's like it's weird. Like I don't like the direct attention. I feel like that's what it is for me. What are we doing right now? But then you know, it's just us and we chilling and we talking and it feels natural. Tanya and I know Sean over there. <laughs> to still. <laughs> <laughs> we not in front of like fifty people. You know, it's just like Thanks, I feel like y'all my niggas. It's different. Like we just, just think of them naked. You know, that's what they tell you. No, that's don't so worry. weird. I, 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 I yes, yeah. To know what they got on underneath there. And I, you know, you know, I, I got a little, little thing for women. So we can't. I be. I already be. Oh, you like you the lady part? Yes. Ah. I, I think we need to play some time. Actually. Oh. So me trying to pick, I already be looking at girls. I be too distracted. I can't. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not picturing nobody. Oh. I guess everybody hosting the show. The show ain't gonna happen then. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. And I actually pulled that one day. That's very selfish. And I was like, if I'm not there, how so, am I gonna make sure people are getting in? How I'm, I'm like caring for the people. Fuck the, me hosting the show. That the show's gonna go on. You want to make sure it's done right. Yeah, because that, that. Like, oof, Charles. When Charles see this, Charles, I'm talking to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he stressed me out <laughs> when I'm not around at the time to help the show. Jesus! <laughs> By the time I get there, it is not now. It's like the show has not started, <laughs> honey. What are we doing? <laughs> uh, now I gotta get to rush. Charles, that's, so dearly. that's why you, oh, Jesus, yeah, I feel you. No, can't talk about it. I'm the same way. I'm mm. the same way. I'm very like. That's why I talk. I kind of turn to a bridezilla. When I have mm-hmm. events, cause I'm very like I'm I very you. down. Yeah, you know, but it's Clicking just the like, meals, girl. Yes, it's all right, bitch. I'm right here. I'm on time. I'm ready. I'm the, <laughs> the mic in my hand. Just tell me yes. when. 
See, you see, I'll be zooming in them heels, though. I'll be like, girl, we got to get it done. I got to make sure everything is right down to the damn napkins mm-hmm. on the table. I just got to make sure. Good. Yeah, but people are paying money. You yeah. know, people are. And I, that's why I care about you, too, because you care about. Like you say, you care about what people think, so you obviously care about the experience. Yeah. Don't nobody, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know? Yeah. Don't nobody Don't want nobody to keep really wasting care. fucking time and money on bullshit. Yeah. And you really do care. Yeah. So what do you have coming next? You're always doing something. You always got something going on. You always got something. So what's girl. next? I am, I'm, I've am i been saying this like <laughs> since damn near I've been doing music, but I am going to officially drop my EP. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be called. It's called Park Car Conversations. Okay. So this is like every feeling. Like I'm always on the go, like she said. So mm-hmm. I really only have the time to feel in the car. So mm-hmm. like if I'm pissed off, if I'm on the phone, if I just got off work, if I'm going to the next show, if mm-hmm. I'm going home or whatever, the time that I get to listen to music is in the car, and mm-hmm. I really get to hear it. So like I'm playing stuff and I'm having conversations. So it's just like a lot of things go on. The car sex. Yeah. A lot of things go on in the yeah. car. That's your go. me time. I gotta that's go. your me time. I literally have to go. Mm-hmm. Like, literally. But I gotta go right now. Like, mm-hmm. Trey songs. And I can't come back. So, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> I'm in the whip. Mm-hmm. So, that's the EP. Give y'all good five, maybe six songs. And yeah, that's what we was I'm excited about. for that. But any shows you see, shit. Instagram. Mm-hmm. I will post the flyer. It's a lot of shows coming up. There's something that I'm doing really big next year. And I'm... We won't talk about it now. Because, you know, mm-hmm. you can't talk before everything is put yeah. in place. But... I pray that it works out, and I pray that it comes into fruition. How you say the word? Fruition. Mm-hmm. See, it will. It's a tongue mm-hmm. ring. The fruition. I, I pray <laughs> that all of that like comes into full circle, and I'm mm-hmm. able to give back to people who've given to me. Yeah. Given to people who've never given to me. Mm-hmm. Take back some shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. It's a little sprinkle. Take back some shit. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's what I'm trying to do. So that's that's really it. I'm excited for that. Me too. I feel yeah. like I'm gonna be smoking to it and just. And oh, just absolutely! Vibing. Please bring your weed. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Bring mm-hmm. it. You should put that at the bottom. Bring your own. Yeah, but we'll bring your own weed know. and wine. Please. So you can mm-hmm. Yes, weed and wine. Bring it. Mm-hmm. You can't use mine. I'm excited. I really am excited for that. I feel like I'm about to get some like little mix of like some yeah. Janae and Erica vibes. I'm about I, hope I hope she <laughs> comes. I hope she comes. She <laughs> I'm gonna tag her. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she come, girl. Yeah. Shit. Okay, so you know we have a live performance today. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. Don't act like you don't forget. I know we smoked before this, but don't act like you forgot about the live performance. But before we get into the live performance, right? Mm-hmm. So I had Scoozy give a word of wisdom to the people, and you know Scoozy. Did he say fuck dog? Did he he did say fuck dog, but that, that was a word of wisdom. Okay, it was that's... like to wash your hands <laughs> and to put on a condom uh, of and to you know Scoozy with two eyes. <laughs> it's Scoozy boy. with two fucking eyes. But yeah, he is hilarious. He is though. I love Scoozy. <sighs> I do. He's great. He really is. We we, we gonna talk. We gonna yes. See, yes, so yes, I'm yes. brainstorming already. We yes, yes, but yes. So before we get into the live comments, um performance though, I want you to give the people your words of wisdom. It can be anything that's on your heart. Just uh, give it to me. Yes. Um, you have to believe that you're the shit before anybody else believes you're the shit because you're the shit. And that's it, that's all. Okay. That's it, that's all. She, that's Just like that. She, that's what, I know, because you're so glad you're you. Honey. Honey. And I'm going to sing it in the live. <laughs> Stay tuned. So that, okay. <laughs> Introduce your own song. Stay I tuned. love it. What you going to perform for? Tell them again. Glad I made my shit last souls out everywhere. Stay tuned. Okay. And Bye. here it is, y'all. Let's get into this live performance then. <laughs> I'm 
so glad I'm me. Who else would I be? I'm so glad I'm me, yeah. So glad I'm me, yeah. I got good vibes, good vibes, yeah. Live right, live right, yeah. I try, I try, yeah. I feel so bright, yeah. I got good vibes, good vibes, let's get high, get high, yeah. I try, I try, yeah. I feel so bright, yeah. Mm. I'm so glad I'm being. You know it's free, yeah. I'm so glad I'm me, yeah. So glad, so glad, so glad, yeah. I'm so glad I'm me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so glad I'm me, yeah. I'm so glad I'm me, yeah.